Welcome back. This is uh, Jim Grzanzio from the uh, from the Oracle developer community, and we are live in San Francisco at Oracle Open World. And my guest here today is an old friend, uh, Gerten Werlinga. Hi. Um, actually, we actually met like 15 years ago at you know Sun Microsystems. It, it's it's strange it how, how long ago it, it, is, it was and how sh how short ago it feels. I know, and yeah. we just you know flew by, and I wanted to have a conversation with you here today about NetBeans, right? Because NetBeans was the very first open source community I got involved with at Sun, right? Um, I guess it was like 2000, 2001. Sure. You know, when we yeah. first purchased NetBeans, right? Yeah. Um, I think you were, that means you were there before I was there. Oh, really? I started working with NetBeans in 2004. Four. Okay. Yeah. Good. So you were involved before I was. <laughs> so we should be having. <laughs> we you should, should be. Actually I be know. Yes. It, yeah. <laughs> So, um, all these years later, Oracle obviously recently has announced that um, you know, NetBeans will be moving over to Apache. Right? right, right. And so, you've been working on NetBeans for all these years in one capacity or another. Right. Um, and I wanted to check in with you to see what the status is. How's the project going? Right. Um, how's the move over to Apache going? Right. Well, it's a, it, there's, there's a long version a very long version and a very long version. Um, okay, well we have about 10 minutes. <laughs> the short version is, you know, the history of NetBeans is um, uh, James Gosling and Sun in general found this project being um, demonstrated at a conference in about around 97, 98, when there were no IDEs. Wow. And there was no, there was there was no editor, it was before any other uh, tool out there. And they acquired that group of, of, of people in Prague who, who, who were creating this. And it was open sourced pretty much immediately. It so this predated all other net, all, all, this tool predated all the other IDEs? Definitely, wow. definitely. And um, so they acquired this group and uh, from the beginning the aim was to provide it for free and open source to provide a low threshold pathway into the Java ecosystem. Mm. And that's how it functioned in Sun. And then there was the, uh, the and, and, and in the meantime, we built up a community around it because it was open source, it, it enabling us to build a, an active community of enthusiastic people worldwide and a community of testers, so the NetCat program, NetBeans Community Acceptance Testing Program, around an amazing guy in Prague, uh, Jerzy Kowalski from the NetBeans team. And we set up this um, NetBeans Dream Team. So these are um, independent people outside of Sun outside of Oracle who are very um, passionate about NetBeans and they go to conferences and they talk about it and things like that and they write articles and so on. Mm. Um, and then there was a takeover and the, you know, everyone was concerned, what does this mean for NetBeans? So Oracle took over Sun and then NetBeans was part of that acquisition. Right. And there was concern, you know, what does this mean? And clearly um, NetBeans became an important part of the Oracle ecosystem. Now it is underneath JDeveloper um, so when you start up JDeveloper, you're starting up the NetBeans module system. Oh, and the Windows system in JDeveloper is from NetBeans. And, and all these different tools in NetBeans are part of JDeveloper. And there are other organizations in Oracle that are leveraging NetBeans in different ways, like Oracle Labs, and also the organization that I'm a part of. I'm, I'm a product manager in Oracle Jet, which is Oracle's JavaScript platform. And the official tooling for Oracle Jet it's is NetBeans. Is NetBeans. Wow. So, um, but, um, so it's pervasive in our products. Right? It's, it's all over yeah. Oracle. It's really all over Oracle. And, but then at the same time, as we were building up this community, the community wanted to have more and more say in the direction and in the roadmap. They didn't simply want to create bug reports and feature requests and right. have Oracle decide which ones were important enough to fix. Right. Now which is a natural progression exactly. for an open source community. Exactly. For, yeah. for a mature open source community. Exactly, exactly. So, that all, so there was this pressure to be more involved and to be more like an Apache project. So then when this um, decision came out of Oracle, hey, you know, we, we want to share the cost of ownership and, and bring it out to let it be what it, what it clearly wants to be, right. um, there was a, there was a, a, a general uh, um, sound of this is the right direction. And James Gosling um, has been so in favor of this. Uh, at, um, at Java One last year, uh, so we always have a NetBeans day during Java One. Uh, we have a NetBeans Day every month somewhere in the world, but the, the main one is here in San Francisco. Last year, he did the opening keynote of NetBeans Day, no and he basically said, look, um, this is a fantastic direction. It's a pity we didn't do it earlier. No um, so now, so then we started this process, and it's a very slow and thorough process. There's the Oracle side of actually donating the code to Apache, 
It's not simply, we can't simply say, oh, here you go, Apache. Here's a whole right. repository of stuff that we don't know what's in there. So we the long process is by design. Yeah, well, yeah, it, yeah exactly. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it, there's, there's no way that, that from the Oracle side you can say, oh, well, here's a repository, here's a Git repository, good mm -hmm. luck. Whatever is in there, we don't really know. It's 20 years of code, uh, and it, most of it comes from Sun. We don't know what's in there, we're going to give it to Apache. That's not how it can work. Right. For example, there's a, a toolbar in NetBeans, for open and there's a button in there for opening the Google Chrome browser and there's a trademark Google icon in there. So can Oracle donate a, a, tr a, a Google trademark to Apache? I see. Th the answer right. is no. So if that answer is no, it means that we need to look at every single file in a 20-year repository. And how many lines of code is that? Well, so far, um, so the first donation that we've done is complete. Um, we've in the GitHub repository of Apache, so github.com slash Apache slash incubator hyphen NetBeans, contains four million lines of code. Four million. 45,000 wow. files, which is only the first of the donations. So there's actually three separate parts. You broke it into smaller parts. Wow. And the second one will be at least as large. Um, the first one is focused on the Java SE parts. So this is actually, uh, it's almost like a reopen sourcing it because you have to do the donation. You have to go through the code and do right, the analysis. Right, right, right. But it's, it's, I mean, it was always open source, but the difference now in Apache is it's open governance. So that's the key difference. Right. I mean, the, the code is as open source as it always was, except that it's relicensed to Apache. No, what I mean is like you had to do the donation. Absolutely. So Oracle has to go through that whole process for, right. you know, for basically essentially to, you know, to to you donate it. Yeah. So now we're going to move from strictly f from simply open source to open development and right. open source. Right. 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 So this presumably would mean you know you know more developers would be able to contribute. Exactly. Not not only I mean uh, developers have always been able to contribute to NetBeans in Oracle, but you had to sign the Oracle contributor agreement, which right. was a blocker. And Apache is a much stronger independent brand. Right. People are much more likely to take time and commit to an Apache project than they are to a project that is proprietary to a particular um, enterprise. I, see. I think a lot of people had the feeling, well, if I'm contributing to NetBeans, I'm essentially contributing to Oracle. Whereas, um, it, you know, contributing to Apache is more like, hey, we're contributing to everybody and not to a particular enterprise. Apache isn't an enterprise as such. It's just a, a neutral ground right. where um, uh, projects can develop themselves and their community. So it's a perfect fit for, for wow. what we're doing. So the first code drop is done, and there's several more to come. Yeah. How much more in terms of time, approximate time, will this process be? It's, uh, I have been wrong every single time I have, I have oh given yeah. any kind of so estimate. Really, okay, so it's just it starts, and whenever it finishes, exactly, it finishes. Exactly, yeah, I think we should look at it like that. But we, we started the process, like we announced this from Oracle, um, from the Oracle side at uh, Java One last year, and we so are now. So it's just been a year. It's been a year. Yeah. So so in that time, we've actually got the first um, donation done, um, and and it's it's on GitHub at Apache, which means that you can do a Git clone, mm -hmm. and you have all of that code. You have the forty-five thousand files. Then you can run Ant in the root directory, and then. Um, that um, clone will be built, and you will have NetBeans built. Because wow. NetBeans is just a tool, like any, it's a piece of software. Mm -hmm. So once you have the source files, and you run the, the build command, you build the product, and you have a tool wow. that you can use to build your own, t build your own tools. Wow. So even if you, I mean, we're obviously going to release um, NetBeans through Apache, first through the incubator, and, and gradually move to a top level project. But even now, today, you can, you can build it yourself, start it up, you can do JDK9 development with NetBeans. You can do Jigsaw, you can do JShell, you can do JLink, all the tools that are in Java 9. Okay, so a developer has access to all that, but in terms of the development methodology and the contribution process, right. is it is it basically intact now, or is there still more work that has to be done for that? Well, there has to be, so right now we are in the process of relicensing everything to Apache. Mm -hmm. And there is a, a wiki page on the Apache uh, NetBeans wiki, describe, uh, which has a list of all of the, um, one row in the table for each of the modules mm -hmm. in uh, NetBeans, and there's a tool called Apache Rat, which you can run, which uh, detects whether the licensing of all the files within a particular module or f for the whole tree is mm. correct or not. And then you get a, a, a so, so in the beginning, there was, it was like 45,000 files were wrong because they were not licensed to Apache. Ah. And so then gradually, uh, so we, we obviously want to automate as much as possible. So for example, all the files that were licensed to Oracle or to Sun, 
we had a, we had a, um, a NetBeast project that was created to go through all of those files and automatically replace them with, a, with the Apache license. Right. But many files in NetBeans don't have a license or they are small test files, or there are these dot .form files from the Matisse GUI builder, which were never licensed. We never had a license in Oracle right. or in Sun. Right. So the question becomes, do we have to manually license each of them, or can we create a tool? So we've extended this tool to d detect different patterns. So if there is a Java source file in a folder, and it has a matching form file, so it must have the same name, and therefore we will inject via this tool the Apache license into that. But there are many other sp specific um, cases. So the first thing we need to do is get that RAT report um, down to a, a minimum, mm -hmm. where we have as few um, exceptions and, and strange files that are not licensed as possible. And then we can see, well, maybe we can already release that. Um, and um, in Apache, what, the, what uh, Apache releases is, n is not a binary. You don't release a binary, you release source, source code. code right. The source code release. So the, I think the minimum requirement is we need to have everything on the licensing level correct. But also, we have some GPL um, libraries in there. And this is a big problem in the Apache context. But not GPL in the source code. We've, we've removed that before the donation. Um, in the, but GPL in the libraries that we are using mm -hmm. and that are going to be part of the binary. So when you um, have NetBeans installed, you will have some jars in there right now that have, um, for example, the Java compiler. Um, Oracle hasn't donated the Java compiler to Apache, but NetBeans. And the Java compiler is built into, the, into, the, into NetBeans, but it is GPL licensed. Mm -hmm. So this is a, a legal issue. Right. And, and Java help is another one. Java help hasn't been donated. It's GPL licensed. It belongs to Oracle. So how do we go? Uh, how, how do we handle that in the Apache context? So right. all of these things have to be solved. Be done, you yeah. know. But the process is active. It's ongoing. Yes, it's ongoing. The community is involved. And also what I really like is that people are popping up on the Apache NetBeans mailing list who we have never heard of. Really? They're from other Apache projects, typically. There's, right. there's be somebody will pop up on, uh, on the mailing list and say, hello, you've never heard of me. See, that's very exciting. I, I mean, know. You know I've, been involved some of, since I've been involved with some open source projects. And you, know, you put all this code out there. You put all this infrastructure out there, and you yeah. just you wait a little bit and you say, there's a guy, there's a yeah, guy, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it, it really it, is it, very, very It's, it's a heartwarming experience. And exactly, and yeah. once it starts, you know, sometimes it starts very slowly, um, but it does build up steam over time. Yeah. And it has this unforeseen consequence. People yes. People show up from yes. where you wouldn't necessarily yeah. expect yeah, them to exactly. show up from. Yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, and and there's, there's so many interesting things, like for example, a lot of the um, NetBeans community have built applications on top of the NetBeans platform of the uh, top of the infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So they know the NetBeans APIs. Right. So they're, they're, they've had like 20 years of training in how to improve NetBeans itself based on the fact that they've created applications on top of it. Right. So those are going to be the most active and the most relevant um, contributors to the project. So we've been training up Apache NetBeans committers over the past 20 years right. in, in many ways. Well, it sounds very exciting, and um, it, it, it sounds like the you know the project is going to grow, and the community yeah. is going to grow and diversify, and there's going to be more opportunities for you know, more developers around yeah, the world. Yeah, exactly. Um, are people talking about it here? I mean, what's your sense on well, the show floor? So, so we, we've had uh, NetBeans Day yesterday, yesterday, uh, and we had um, a, a session, uh, um, uh, meet Apache NetBeans incubating. Mm -hmm. And so we had a whole panel, like about 10 people on the stage, from um, you know people from from the community in the UK, um, from from Germany, from Burkina Faso. Really? Uh, yeah, really. Konstantin Drabo is amazing from Burkina Faso, and uh, Sean Phillips, who works for a NASA contractor. So basically, that means in space. You know, so we had people from NetBeans in Germany, NetBeans in the UK, NetBeans in the US, NetBeans in Africa, NetBeans in space. It's, wow. it's so broad. And um, so I was kind of like, how many people will show up to a session called Meet Apache NetBeans? You know, would it be a very exclusive number of people who literally want to contribute to it? Right. But it turned out we had like half, two thirds of the room full. Really? So there were about 70, 80 people there, which is wow. pretty good. And then we had sessions after that the whole day. We had, the next session was on Jigsaw. And um, Sven Reimers and Martin Klein from Airbus, um, um, who have a massive application for satellite uh, management on top of NetBeans, did a session about Java 9 and Jigsaw. We had a session on Java E8, where we had uh, 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 people from Payara and um, 
um, and Ivar Grimstad from the JCP and uh, David Heffelfinger from the NetBeans Dream Team and all three on the NetBeans Dream Team talking about um, Java E8 code generation tools in NetBeans. There was a session about Node.js and NetBeans. Um, there was a session about Gluon and NetBeans. Johan Voss and, and Jose Pereira were there. And we had all kinds of different sessions the whole day long. On, 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 and I each session typically started with me saying, hello, this is the next session in the NetBeans day. And by the way, we're moving to Apache NetBeans. And by the way, here's the GitHub re repository. Yeah. And we need you to be involved. So we've been conscientizing people and, and getting them, um, um, making them aware of, of this project and, right. and getting them involved. And what's funny, at the end of one of the sessions, one of the people who was there, who I'd never seen before either, came up to me and said, hey, while you were talking, I've, I've done a Git clone <laughs> of, of, the, of a NetBeans repo. And here there was a build problem. And I was like, oh, that's because of this and that. And, and he, he, uh, you know, it was amazing. Like, during wow. the session, during he did session. A, a clone yeah. on the repository. And it, it's, a, it's a large repository. But within a couple of seconds, you have it checked out. And within five minutes, you, you have it wow. built. Which is as long as it takes to install NetBeans. Wow. So the, the, there's no real difference between downloading and installing the binary from NetBeans.org and cloning and building Apache NetBeans from the GitHub repository. Really? And then you're able to interact with it a, as an application, yeah. as, 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 a, as a source uh, bundle rather right. than a binary. And you have complete control over everything in there. So wow. it's, it's really, uh, really nice. Well, your enthusiasm is addictive. All right. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, Great. So, uh, so there's basically two spaces where people can go right now to get more information. They can go to Apache. Yeah. Or what's the URL for that? Um, uh, um, GitHub.com slash Apache slash uh, incubator uh, NetBeans um, is the GitHub repository. GitHub. There's an Apache wiki page with how to participate. Um, and there's a, a blog that we've set up there. Um, there's all kinds of resources. Blogs.apache.org slash NetBeans is the new NetBeans community blog on, okay. the, on Apache. Um, also, um, Instead of netbeans.org, we're going to have netbeans.apache.org, and that page already exists. It's a temporary page, but temporary, it's so yeah, the, the okay. page is already there. So all these resources are there, and we're going to move the tutorials there. We're going to move the mailing lists there. We're going to move um, all the things that are part of the NetBeans uh, ecosystem into the yeah. Apache context. It's going to take time, and, and Oracle is very patient and is giving us lots of time yeah. and not saying, well, if it's not there next week, then forget it. It's, but right. it's like really just... Yeah, it, it, so it seems like you have support from the Apache side, yeah. from the Oracle yeah. side, yeah. and the community. Exactly, you know, so exactly. So it basically will take as long as it takes. Exactly, and yeah. It's, yeah. Know, it's just a sign of health. Exactly, so yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming yeah. by. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, thank you and for the opportunity. For, yeah, yeah, so yeah. I mean, I'm sure you'll be, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'll see you around yep. yeah, actually you know, uh, as the uh, show progresses. And for all of you Java developers out there, please go visit the, uh, the, Apache, uh, the, uh, the Apache NetBeans site and uh, start contributing. And we will be back here very soon. Thank you and see you guys soon. Thank Bye -bye. you. Great. Uh, we're still live here.